Yes, hello, this is Carrie. Pick up who? You must be the guys from uh, Somalia, Senegal. Sudan. Sudan, yes, exactly. I'm from the employment agency. I'm gonna help you find jobs. Where is your husband? No, I'm not married. I provide for myself. Your survival skills are very impressive. Thanks. I'll call you tomorrow morning and we'll start the job hunt, okay? May you find a husband to fill your empty house. I'll work on that. Hey, Jack. I need your help. Can't even get them through one job interview. That's it. Potential employers want to see you smile. To smile without meaning it. Is that's not insincere? Oh, yeah, but Americans like it, so that's what you gotta do. There is a reason you do not have a husband. You can't just break into somebody's house. I am here to thank you. Because of you, we have jobs. What's their story, anyway? I'm not sure. They seem pretty traumatized. When I dropped them off the other night, I said goodbye, and they looked at me like they were never going to see me again. Made my way to the borderline. You can't get involved in these people's problems. I had 34 brothers and sisters. They all died but one. And she need to be here with us. Since 9-11, the program here has stopped indefinitely. I'm wondering if you think the INS would approve me hosting a refugee. If you can get the whole house presentable, yeah. What's wrong with the rest of the house? Really? Give me faith, give me love. You don't have an appointment. I know. Now, who do I have to screw around here to see an immigration supervisor? Me. Thanks, Cupcake. Where's she from? Sudan. That's gonna be a problem. She's a child refugee of war. You sure you're ready to take this on? Definitely. But I'll find a way. So we have to go halfway around the world to do this. Yes. I have faith, Yardi. Yardi? It means great white cow. Well, it's better than a lot of things I've been called. I don't.